How often have you worked on Corel Video Studio and it crashes, leaving you hot and angry? I'm going to give you five little tips that may improve this issue. Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. I just realized in the intro, I actually said I may help improve this issue. <laughs> in other words, I'm going to create more crashes. <laughs> One of the first things I would highly recommend to do, and that is to update all the codecs in your computer. I highly recommend K-Lite Codec Pack. I will leave the link in the description. You can see here all the formats that it supports. Companies are quite often updating their codec, and obviously you need to update your codec in your system in order to be compatible, and this could drastically reduce some of the crashes that you're experiencing in Corel Video Studio. Reset your library, settings, library manager, reset library. Now you could just click this and everything will be okay, but I would highly recommend to back up the old library. We can do this by going into the search bar, percent, app data, close percent, hit enter, roaming, and look for a file called ULEADS. ULEADS systems, double click, Corel Video Studio Pro times 64, double click. And here you have the file 25.0. Right click onto the file and simply rename this file to 25.0 old. And that's all you need to do. And then restart Corel Video Studio. Go to your settings tabs, preferences, under the edit tab, uncheck enable audio while scrubbing. The reason is some of the video formats like MOV is a wrapper. It's a container that contains the audio and video separately. When you place that on the timeline, it doesn't recognize it. So while you're scrubbing and the audio is present, it could have a conflict, hence freezes or crashes Video Studio. Next, go to your performance tab where it says enable hardware decoder and encoder. I would recommend checking off both first to see if it makes any difference in freezing or just uncheck one or the other. And basically what it does it's a hardware from your graphics cards that interacts with your CPU and sometimes these two can cause a conflict. Enable your smart proxy. Settings, smart proxy manager, make sure this is checked. If it's not, go to settings and make sure this box is checked. Anytime a video file is greater than this ratio, a draft version will be made. In other words, a very small version of that will be made, which is a lot easier to work with and less resource hungry. Also, ProRes is actually Apple ProRes, which came from a software called Final Cut Pro. If you're having lots of issues with using MOVs, I would recommend checking into custom settings. It works just as effectively. Let's get out of this, okay. How do you know a, a proxy file has been created? Very simple, if you look at the two thumbnails, this thumbnail here has two boxes, this one has one. In actuality, this little icon just represents that this is a video format. And this second little icon tells you that a proxy file has indeed been created. Also, if you go back into settings, smart proxy, go into the proxy file manager, you may also remove some of the old proxy files. You can do select all and delete, so delete selected proxy files. And lastly, and this was a big game changer for me, this dramatically reduced a lot of the freezing and crashing. And that was doing something as simple as importing the video files rather than drag and dropping the video files. In other words, if you have multiple videos or multiple monitors, I should say, it's quite common or laziness just to drop and drag. And that it did kind of the same. However, I noticed once I started importing the video files, a lot of the freezing just disappeared to the point where I hardly ever notice it. Now, if you're still watching this, I'll give you one more final pro tip. And that is if you are working with multiple video files and they are of different format, I would highly recommend rendering them out all in the same format. In other words, convert them by using a free converter online. I know it does take a little bit of time, but in the long run, it avoids, well, it stops a lot of the freezing and the crashing. And it goes without saying, when you're working on any project, save as often as possible. And there you go, my friends. I hope this will help you out like it has done with me. And as always, thanks for watching.